Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Saving the Disaster campaign. This is episode 6 of the Grandier Debacle where I'm trying to reduce uh, the Doom Clock and kind of get everything back in order. Uh, it will take a few more missions but I think we're already on our good way to get that uh, campaign saved. It's time for the alien facility and more precisely facing its alien ruler, Operation Iron God. And we're bringing a very similar team comp. I want to establish a pattern here, kind of the core four classes. This time I bring a skirmisher and Wally as a fire support. The rocket launcher and the shredding will do wonders. We took the axes with us because uh, they are good against alien rulers. Unfortunately, Mr. A seems to have lost the uh, frost bomb, which would have been a fantastic addition makes it so much easier to fight alien rulers with it, but we'll manage even without it. Alright, we got ourselves a nice mission ahead of uh, uh, some high ground here. Sort of high ground because apparently there is another cliff here as it seems, so the whole facility is on even higher ground, but we got a tower over there. So it might not be too bad. Deploying grapple. Okie dokie, we can already see the first few enemies. Um, skirmisher goes over here. Skirmisher tend to want to use that high ground in order to be really useful. No need to ask twice. And don't need to even speak about sparks. Uh, they definitely would want high ground. It's their bread and butter. Alright. That's a beefy pack. Andromedon plus two. It's a very beefy pack. Um hmm. Rolling. And yeah, we're not engaging yet, not quiet. But we're close to and engage. Would like to actually go to here, to be entirely honest. That's my trigger. If not, we're engaging next turn. Yep, lightning reflexes uh, saves them. Nice immediate reaction. Well, lightning reflexes only helps you against the first attack, at least uh, the enemy's lightning reflexes. Okay, cool. It's a good start. Very low chance, uh, by the way, that that is uh, happening. But we would have gotten untouchable off of it so it's actually not too bad he wouldn't have killed us uh, we could free reload we could use a grenade not fond of either of that to be honest I just want to get this guy down so let's start with chain shot Four shredding is crazy. Ok, 
Okay, well we got Whiplash which theoretically is a free attack if needed. But I don't think that we actually need that. The enemy is as good as that. Massive damage, appreciate that. <laughs> and dead eye would be a one shot kill. Oh, minimum damage, I see how it is. Well, still okay. Do we have auto loader here? No, we just got. Okay, well, that doesn't work. Good. First pack gone. We're not going to trigger anything else here. I'll wait until our cooldowns are coming back and we should be a-okay. Perfect time for reload. I mention that very often. You want to make sure that you're properly reloaded to keep momentum. In non-timed mission it's not that critical because oftentimes Oh no, that, I do have a free reload here. Never mind. Good, I have no idea which of uh, the alien rulers we're dealing with. But that makes it even more important to kind of keep all of uh, the cooldowns. Could be the Berserker Queen for all I know. It's not the Viper King because we already have his armor. Anyone with any cooldowns? No, no, no. I think we're good. Moves up. Nothing. Nothing. Spark wants to take the high ground, of course. Okay, that works well. And as you can see, I'm playing a little bit further back with the specialist because when we're uh, going to engage with a chose uh, with an alien ruler in a second the mechanic of how alien rulers reactions uh, work um, actually promote that your team is a, is a little bit split uh, apart from one another everything that they cannot see will not trigger an action with the exception of comet protocol and squad side but if you're, for instance, doing an A protocol from outside of their vision range, uh, they will not be able to react. Uh, you can reload, you can overwatch. All of that nicely outside of their vision range, which is fabulous. This unit is relatively agile. I'm on it. Scanning. Moving overwatch. Scanning. Overwatch. Okay, well, I'm compelled to agree. moving up a little bit further, pretty sure uh, the alien ruler will eventually walk alongside, uh, or a patrol will walk alongside On the move. that ledge. The reason why I'm so sure about it is because that is what always happens. Sensors at maximum sensitivity. 
Well, as if I would have predicted it, right? Bring it on, bitches. Our target, minimal damage. Couple of solid hits there. And I could use demo or could do the easier way which is mark him and shred him and it, yeah. okay that was the super easy and lazy way I hate low ground Unfortunately, here we are fighting on low ground almost the entire time. Getting our specialist up behind the chimney will be good. It's not a bad position to be in. Some reload. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And we're good. Might be another patrol that's coming along. I'll give it a couple of turns. And by a couple, I mean a lot. Okay, so far we're good. Unfortunately, we don't have a real scout. Scout ahead. I'm secretly hoping that uh, the ruler will walk into us and just get completely shat on. If it's the Berserker Queen you want to... Uh, mm, Kind of fan out, anyways. Because her stomp is uh, the most dangerous part about her, like the stunning part. I could have, by the way, also uh, gotten more mind uh, mind shields, as they are ten uh, tendentially uh, countering all of uh, her crowd control abilities. So Templar with a mind shield and a good dodge uh, bonus will almost take no damage from her and will likely solo her one on one. Everything that she does, uh, if he has Bladestorm that is, everything that she does will trigger Bladestorm and she's not dealing a lot of damage but her crowd control is actually quite annoying. Well, never mind. That changes uh, the whole gig a little bit, I would say. Okay, a couple of things here. Okay, um, for starters. Frodo gets that extra overwatch. Mainly because I need shredding. Secondly, he will uh, blazing pinion, so we want to really fan out. We also won't be able to heal a lot once we're engaged, so might as well overwatch here. We definitely want to shred him to the best of our abilities. So overdrive it is. Uh, 
That's not great. That, on the other hand, will at least start taking armor off of him. 100% hit. There is the blazing pinions. Devastation. It's stupid, we will need to take the damage. But at least our overwatch trap worked like a charm. Good. Uh, we have a couple of uh, abilities that are actually dealing free damage, such as the Zax. Burning is good, because burning will trigger every single round. He doesn't get uh, any counter on free actions. What we want to do is we want to hit as hard as possible. Another free action whiplash. Missed unfortunately. Reposition also free action. So shouldn't trigger any response. There we go. That's my boy. Any other free actions that we do have? Lightning hands, yes, but it doesn't matter now. Chain shot it is. Good hit. Like it. Now, we don't want to explode ourselves. I think he cannot take uh, the mech up on a right, which is his other maneuver that he loves to do. Oh wow, but he deals a lot of damage. Can't move, as this would trigger him. Do we have Blade Storm? Zero in. All right. Yeah, we do have Blade Storm. So we're trying to do uh, to give a different target. He's almost ready to um, boogie out. There is the retribution hit. Unfortunately, that missed. Despite all of it. Summons a gate. Some sort of psionic rift. I cannot begin to Volin would have allowed it to have this ability. He's trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. Okay, well we're overwatching here. Good chance for a little bit extra damage. Or even more damage, but nah, I think we're wallying it. <laughs> okay, well. Icarus suit, here we come, baby. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Well, that was lucky. It is under my watch. Blocking 
But it was equally fun uh, to fight him. Could have put our sniper onto Overwatch as well to get that ex one extra shot against them. But there is likely one more pack left over somewhere. But we do have Mimic Beacons, so I'm not that worried about actually going uh, deeper in. Could have used Frostbite, by the way, to uh, keep him steady. But yeah, it worked out in the end. Oh, gatekeeper. Look at you. Being all cute. Let's hit him. Nice hit. And the rupture will go a long, long way. Yeah, we're just staying down here. That's fine for me. I just need the shredding. Gatekeepers are hybrids. So they are organic, but still are affected by blue screen rounds. It's a bit weird, but it's a fun mechanic if you know about it. Free movement here. Just pulling him over. I think we do have one more free reload. I hope I didn't just waste an action. Nope, we solidly wasted an action. But he's this guy is burning, so he's definitely dead. He will take at least one point of damage. Should go even closer because we do have Blade Storm. That would be an automatic overwatch, which would kill the shield bearer, and uh, both of the enemies are dead. Well, almost dead. Advanced hair trigger, not bad, not great either. Already there. Move, move, move. On the move. Good, and we're soon going to get out of here. So I'm yeah, enemies are all gone. Plant the C4, and that's it. It's a peasy mission. Got ourselves an Archon King. 
Didn't even need any of our mimic beacons. Good. Menace one five, status confirmed. Export charges eliminated. With one little bit of damage uh, that our mech took, with that as an exception, the rest actually work well. And Wally even got a promotion out of it. Plus, we got some AP and we got uh, the Icarus suit, which in itself is a fab fabulous item. So instead of Strike, I would always go Rainmaker, plus two damage, and more importantly, increased area of effect. And why that increased area of effect is important is the way that the AI is uh, splitting they assume you're having kind of the standard circle. The moment that you have more than the standard circle, you can hit way, way more targets. It's actually crazy. I do have one video where one of my mechs is solo in just one turn, uh, destroying a sector pod and four um, additional uh, advents in the end game. It's crazy. I mean, if you know how to use it correctly, then of course it's it's just bizarrely good so what we got ourselves um, is not only the reduction by one but also six weeks of um, really um, cool off no further increase in the advent project i think we i can make uh, continue making contact here there is nothing wrong with that might as well do it because it's already started. It's not affected by, by Alien Cipher. But the moment that this year is off, we're actually going to uh, go to South America. This is but a simple test, a distraction from the Elder's true Oh, nature. oh, okay. Surely it would be of little concern to your great forces. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress. Good. Well, the Chosen start to learn a bit more. But yeah, he should be, with upgraded weapons, he should be easily able to infiltrate all three of them. This here is a, sucks a bit. I need to stop that. Mm, the rest is okay. Fantastic. That one is good. Okay, well, I understand, Commander. Finishing this here real quick. We're picking up indications of the Elder's Warlock actively working in this region. Let's get some money, and we definitely need Elarium. And the moment that Alien Cipher is off, we can uh, start getting Elarium. Cool. That'll help uh, help um, a lot in the long run. It seems we're down to the normal intel. Definitely a facility research because you always want to have one option to uh, one option to counter uh, the existing uh, avatar projects, right? So, as it stands, we will get two further slots off with the facility lead i will research mr a a nice uh, buffer so that he could work with it and unfortunately this month the only thing that we can't uh, buy is elerion wow 
See, they want, uh, they are interested in both alloys and Illyrium. Unbelievable. It is what it is. We got enough money. The moment that we get Illyrium, we are good. Let's make contact down here. I mentioned we want South America for the live fire training because that will give him an unlimited amount of uh, sergeant grenadiers and those are good enough to shred. Good, well, we're a little bit... Uh, we're a little bit behind on what we can all build. Uh, resistance comms, am I offering him to just conquer the entire world? That late in the game might be... might even be worth it. 160 supplies is not so bad. Okay, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, we had a few combat tactics that were not yet bought. So, Templar Mentally Awake is super good. Specialist is actually fantastic, but I don't know how often he's using that. Uh, straight up 10% uh, crit is good as well. 144, not good, but okay. And we can get more money if we need to. I'll do that off screen real quick. All right, so covert action successful. We don't want Intel right now. And we got a promotion off of our squaddy there, which means this guy might even uh, become another grenadier. So what else do we have? Um, Proving damage of pistols by one. That's pretty damn good. Reduce more avatar project. That's not bad either. Get to him. Oh, all beam weapons improving their damage. <laughs> what a massive, massive uh, breakthrough. Yeah, that one is easy. It's not even a question. Doing it in five days. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Cool. Let's promote him and give him Shredder. That's almost all you need for the start, buddy. Got a nice little Corporal Grenadier there as a backup. Grooming those uh, newcomers. Soon you don't need to worry because you can get uh, you can get sergeants immediately, and the Illyrium shortage is really a problem. Let's do the Archon King, and then I might even do another facility lead just for good measure. Yep, we got a nice facility there. Perfect, that is what we needed. Losts in here, couple of enemies. But if we play that right, we're going to get some Malarium out of it. And very likely we're fighting against the Hunter. That's a cool mission. I think that's not a bad one. So uh, that'll be the next mission and potentially the last one in, uh, in this installment. My my reading of the situation is if that goes right, Avatar Project is firmly under control. Uh, with this here we can get armor upgrades, uh, so that should not be a problem at all. Uh, we do have two Grenadiers that are already uh, working. Very easy to get the live fire training down here. And Sergeant Rank Grenadiers are more than good enough if if he's really, really afraid uh, of uh, not making it. So there is not that much more uh, to go. Got enough into, I can even double check the black market and see if we have additional personnel there. So yeah, one more mission and then I consider this to be saved.
Uh, for now, have a good one and see you in two days. Take care. Bye-bye.